Good morning, Doctor. May you please tell us your name and share with us your beautiful testimony. Thank you. Um, I'm Dr. Joyce Sukumani, and I greet the saints in the name of the Lord. I'm really grateful to stand in front of you today to give my testimony to the Lord. When I came to Shekinah Glorious Ministries, I was really desperate. I had been sitting at home, having left a very lucrative job, uh, really feeling very impressed that the Lord was now wanting me to answer to the calling that I had received when I was born again many, many years ago. And I had begun to really feel that I, I was running out of time. So I didn't really give it much thought. I took the pressure and I resigned from my job and I went home. And lo and behold, when I expected the ministry to take off, the ministry did not take off. Even as I was trying to do the work that I understood God was wanting me to do, I ran out of money and I was out of a job and I was just about to lose my house. And my children were starving and it started to feel like the devil was really playing a number on me. I cannot describe the desperation. After two years, I wasn't seeing anything and I was truly very desperate. But I did have a friend who did come to Shekinah Glorious Ministries. And they hadn't been coming here for a very long time themselves. And they said to me, I think you really need to check out this ministry. And I said to her, you know, really, truly, this is one time that I'm thinking I'm staying in my bedroom. I'm going to cry to God until he answers me because I have done my running around. And she begged me and really she sponsored even my traveling here. I didn't have money. I didn't have anything. And today I'm here. And when I came here, the very first day, it was a Thursday. During the prayer, the prophet of God, uh, prophet uh, Isaka, prayed for me. And he prophesied and he said to me, you know, you want to pray for people. And I said, yes, I do have the burden. And he said, take your Bible, open your Bible. I took my Bible, I opened my Bible, and I landed on the chapter of Jeremiah. It was Jeremiah 44, verse 19. I read it, he asked me to read it, and I read it. And, and then he said to me, well, after praying for me and delivering me, you go and you come back with a testimony. And I didn't understand, I didn't know how, what to do, but my friend asked me to buy the anointing oil, and she had done, actually, by her grace, helped me to get the prayer points. So I did get home, and I did want to pray. I prayed, and I prayed, and I came, this is my third visit. And I went home, the problems I was having was joblessness because I had lost the job and many others that the devil was attacking my children. So how do you do ministry? How do you do anything without money? But then I did go home and I did use my anointing oil. I would anoint myself every morning with the anointing oil. Just a little, put a drop here, put a bag in my, make a little cross. I come from the Orthodox background on my chest, and I would start my prayer every four o'clock or half past four in the morning. It was in March, end of March, beginning of April. And the second visit, I collected some more anointing oil, and I went home. And during the end of May, the organization that I was so desperate to join after I realized I need to go back to, 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 to work. I had applied at the beginning of 2015 in January and only in December did they accept my documents. I don't know what was going on, but from December to that end of March, beginning of April when I came here, nothing had happened. And at the end of April, beginning of May, I started to see them calling me, asking for this, asking for that. And this is June. And at the end of this June, I'll be getting my first pay. Amen. It's so, not, Mama. It's not just, okay, I'm sorry. So, Doctor, 
How long were you un unemployed for? Just to clarify for the congregation. For two years. I had left the job in, 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 in June of 2014. So I'm here June 2016, and I haven't had a job. I hadn't had an income. And I cannot tell you how desperate I've been and how, well, the running around, I don't have to mention that. But here I am today. Testifying on the glory of God in your life. <laughs> Mama, what difficulties were you going through? Can you just express for those who are unemployed right now, before you found out about this ministry, what difficulties were you going through and what else did you try? Well, when you lose your job, even as you are a professional, you lose benefits, you lose your medical aid, you lose, you lose your regular income, you lose that bracket income. And yes, I stayed at home and I, being a divorcee, I, 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 I did get time to realize what my absence was doing to my children. And the, there's problems of mental illness, problems of depression. I've got two of them and they're adults and they were not working and all of that. So to realize that and a grandson who is at school and I couldn't really come up with the, with the school fees, I couldn't come up with the bus fare, I couldn't do anything. And I, it was taking a toll on me. I really was beginning to think, no, I don't know how I made the decision to lose, to, to leave my job. So this is the kind of the panic, the panic attacks, the, the fright, the, the hopelessness actually, which is exacerbated by the fact that you do actually go around asking for prayer. You do go around, you really do. And I had done my rounds. And you came here two visits later, your life changed. Two visits later, I am here and I cannot begin to tell you what it feels like to have a job again. I see the possibilities and I can see now that the prayers that I prayed, this is my third visit and I'm continuing with my third prayer point today and my third bottle <laughs> of the anointing oil. And it is saying to me, I don't know why today because I haven't really received the pay but yes, I had a little money to come but it coincides with the men of God uh, and the blessings and our sister and the music that we're going to get and the uplifting in the spirit and uh, the prophet, men of God, and, and, and the way he just ministers. I, I cannot, the church, you get your time, you get your attention from everybody. It, it just blows my mind. I thank God for it. I thank, I truly do thank God. I thank the men of God for the ministry. I do thank the Father. Prophet T.B. Joshua, whose TV I do watch quite a lot, and we just got connected to Rafa TV, and I thank God for what he's doing. It's given me hope that even the things that are not solved yet are going to be solved. Amen. <laughs> Mama, what word of advice do you have for those that might be going through the same situation that you went through? I, I thank God for the question. I watch a lot of uh, God TV. And this is the question that always I kind of like, oh my goodness, what are you supposed to advise people, you know? And I listen to the advice. And I always think sometimes it's, it's kind of like doctored. It's kind of like made to make you feel like, yeah, you know, this prophet or this, this ministry. <laughs> no, today God knows in my heart I do want to say, do not lose your hope. And if you have that friend that says, try one more time, let's go to this ministry. Listen to the Spirit of God and be guided. And if you can, don't resist the Spirit moving. And the Spirit has moved. It is moving in this house this morning. I know God is helping me. If he could get me to this place, still alive, he will get you through. Amen. Mama, we thank you for such a beautiful testimony and we pray that you remain in the house of God. Thank you.